All right, everybody, we're back again. Let's check it out. First and foremost, this particular question has a diagram associated with it, and what we're going to be using is thermometers, all right? And I'm sure you know about them. A lot of times we have them when we have a bad temperature, we put them under our tongue and they test the temperature. But in order for a thermometer to change, we've got to add heat, okay? So keep that in mind. Let's check out the question. It says, the thermometers below show the temperature of a liquid at the beginning of an experiment and at the end of an experiment, okay? So if you look at the beginning, the thermometer reads 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? So this is before we do the experiment. Now if we take a look at the next thermometer, this is after the experiment, if we read it, 0, 20, 40, 60, 70, the thermometer shows the temperature of 70 degrees Fahrenheit, all right? So this is what we know about it so far. We know at the beginning it was 60 degrees, we know at the end it was 70 degrees. So let's look at the question. The question says, how did the temperature of the liquid change, okay, from the beginning of the experiment to the end? Now, we know one thing about science. Whenever you see temperature change, you usually have to do it introducing some sort of agent. The agent in this case is heat, okay? Heat is what has been introduced. So because we introduced heat, we'll make a little fire there, okay, to the thermometer, the temperature obviously was raised 70 degrees. So the choices that we have would be A, okay, B, C, and D. Now, A would be, well, what does the temperature change? Did it go up 20 degrees? Did it go up 40 degrees? Or did it go up 10 degrees? Or did it go up 60 degrees? Well, we know, based on the two thermometers, that the heat was raised only 10 degrees. All right, so what we see here is we have math, we have science, and we have English all wrapped up into one. It's an interdisciplinary question, so keep your brain sharp for something like this.